Hey, this is Matt Helbig. I'm a filmmaker and head of community at Simon Says, and I wanted to do a sort of in-depth tutorial of my workflow using Assemble on an unscripted project I've worked on before. By leveraging the power of speech-to-text translations, I'm able to save hours searching and organizing footage. You see, Assemble is a text-based video editor, and it's already changing workflows in places like Netflix, HBO, and others. Let's have a look. So to get started, I'll launch the Simon Says Mac app. And as that pulls up, you can see that uh, I've got this project already preloaded and it's already been transcribed. Uh, if you're loading a new project, you'll notice the little plus symbol in the top left. What you'd simply do is click that and it'll produce the drag and drop menu. And you simply take all of your clips that you want transcribed, load them into that box, and then click transcribe. Now, once your files are transcribed, you can head on over to simonsays.ai in your browser and log in using your credentials. And then from there, you'll click the Assemble Launch button, which will launch the Assemble Editor in browser. So we'll get started by creating a new project. I'm going to go ahead and name it. We'll call it Assemble Video Test. And then look through the bin, and you can see that there is the project that we imported earlier. In our case, it was already imported. Now. As it loads, you can start editing by simply by highlighting the text you wish to include and then clicking the insert button to insert it into the timeline. So I'm going to go through here and make my assembly edit now. There's a functionality to conduct searches within the text, uh, just like a, a finder search. And so once you find the thing you're looking for, by clicking the time code, you can actually load that time code into the player and play it. Like a thousand miles going nowhere, the light on the hill. Another cool bit of functionality that Assemble allows for is the reordering of clips. Um, so in your timeline, if a clip has uh, been placed improperly or you simply want to change the position of it, you can simply drag it and drop it to reorder that clip. Finally, before export, we can assign a native resolution and frame rate for our project. And then simply click the export button in the editor of our choice. Today we'll be using Premiere Pro and click export. Now what I've done is I've opened Premiere Pro, created a new project, and I'll start by just simply importing that XML. Uh, and what you'll find is that it'll directly import the files associated with it as well, as long as they're in the same location. Now, once it imports, I simply drag and drop the sequence onto my timeline, and lo and behold, my entire assembly cut is laid out for me in Premiere Pro. If you thought this is beneficial and you want to give this a try, come on over to community.simonsays.ai. We'd love to continue the conversation there.